Well, keep voting in our live poll. Should Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin step down? Yes, yeah, secretly recorded audio captured and making a quid pro quo with a far right conservative group. Here's Teresa Wooder. It was very interesting talking to him. The recording from inside the state capitol lasts 64 minutes. These 16 seconds might do the most damage. Let me tell you what I want to do. Well, so real quick, you need to hear what I want to do. Okay. I don't need anything. Well, I don't know you yeah, do. Yeah. You do. If we can make this work, I'll, I'll put your guys on the floor next session. House Speaker Dennis Bonin offering media credentials to a hardline conservative activist who runs a website. If that activist campaigns against 10 fellow Republican representatives who Bonin hints are not conservative enough. One North Texan is on that list, Tan Parker of Flower Mound. If I still have the same 10 moderate Republicans who don't want to help on anything, I'm still unable to do what you and I would want done. The Texas Rangers are investigating whether the offer of credentialing for campaigning was an illegal quid pro quo. But there's more on the tape that couldn't be called illegal, though it could be considered inappropriate. I can't stand it. I mean, John Rosenthal makes my skin crawl. It's a piece of We've got Michelle Beckley, who's vile. Okay. Representative Michelle Beckley, who was called vile and heinous, told me the name calling doesn't really matter to her. Ethics does. No, I think he needs to step down and we need a bipartisan vote on who should be the speaker right now. Should he remain in office, period? <clears throat> That's up for the voters to decide. Bonin has previously apologized, but now that the tape is public, he didn't. He simply said it provides clear evidence disproving allegations of criminal wrongdoing. Yet the state's criminal investigation remains open. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.